Welcome back, Simon Says Farms, and today we're planting peppers, and Tyler is trying to find his way over here with our new wheelbarrow. Here he comes, he's on his way. He's working his way around. Tyler, whatever you do to that new wheelbarrow, do not dent it. Tyler, it's brand new. Um, I think you made a little big dent right there. So I bought metal hoping it will last like forever, and then I thought to myself, why did I buy metal? Plastic could have handled the rocks better, plastic but snap. plastic probably would snap and break. This and thing should last. Bends. This you thing should last forever. You could have so this. turn it around. This is mom's poop wheelbarrow. She's going to use it for the poop for the little goats on the other side. Now this little device right here is not ours. Oh, don't worry, Tyler. We still have this whole row that needs to be done. Right back here. He's doing my new little pepper patch. So we grow most of our peppers for swanky sauce in the greenhouse. But we're trying to up production, so we're gonna grow some out here. And we're running late, so we're gonna get the next round put in out here. I'm gonna kind of pack them close. You can get away with about a foot, hopefully, about a foot of distance in between each pepper plant, in more like 18 inches. So right here near the apple tree. Look at this, look at this. Now we, got, we do have some pests doing something here. Mom's got to get in here and figure out what's going on there. But we do have some good ones coming in. Some good ones down there. But yeah, these pests are getting in, getting to our apples. There's nothing, oh, there's one over here. Big rock, big rock. So now right behind Tyler, where that new piece of wood went, we're gonna do the same thing to that. We're gonna rototill it out. And that is where like, I think we're gonna do orchard type stuff. We've got blueberries going in over there. I'm not sure what else mom's got planned for that, but we gotta bring up that bed a little bit with some more dirt. And then, uh-oh, did you get it stuck? Don't flip it over. You got a big rock under there. Big rock, big rock. Oh yeah, big rock. Have it. Oh yeah, that's stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, we really we, we need it. we need a hammer, guys. Yeah, we need some. I got a hammer. Good hammer. Okay, you're going against that tooth though, so that might not work. No, that's not gonna work. No, that thing's not wiggling. Oh that's yeah, we got it in there. Let's good. Try to start it. Don't tell the guy that owns it. Yeah. Big, bigger hammer? You got a bigger hammer? Yeah, bigger hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we're moving. We're moving. <gasps> Lift it up, in. Tyler. Okay. Oh, hang on. There we go. Got it. Good job. That's good job, team. Crisis right, averted. Pepper patch is looking pretty good, so we mixed in. We mixed in a little bit of rabbit poop. So rabbit poop is one of the ones you can take straight from the rabbit right into the garden, mix it in, and you're good to go. You can't really do that with a lot of other poop, especially not chicken. You couldn't find them, or you found them? No, they might be in Okay, there. they're looking for my car keys, because we got to move the car in order to get the next load of topsoil into here, of dirt into here. We brought one load in. We're going to bring another load in. We're going to mix it in to raise this up a little higher for this year. And then the eventual goal, and then we'll probably mulch it or something. We have to add more wood down here to keep the dirt from falling out. But for now, it's not bad. I, he found my keys. I gotta help him move the car. 16 year old's driving my car, scary. Olivia, are you out of the way? Okay, good. Go ahead, help him learn, right? Help him learn, go ahead, back it up. Yep, use your mirrors, use the cameras. You guys stay out of the way. They don't know what they're doing yet. 
Good job. You can put it right next to Angie's on the front lawn. Just don't hit mom's truck or the truck. Mom likes to call it hers. It kind of was bought for her. Still thinking about replacing this thing though. Go ahead. Good. Perfect. Looking good. There you go. Good job. And then turn it the other way. You're good. Good to go. And then this one over here. All these kids, Quinn. No soda, Quinn? No. No? You want a Gatorade? No. No? He wanted a soda. Hey, you can go see if Grams has a soda at her house. I'll let her know on this video. Grams, Quinn stole your soda. Hey, get one for Olivia, too. They just get little sodas. Little ones, occasionally. It's summertime, you know? All right, Tyler's coming in. Their next load of dirt. We're gonna put it up here. We're looking for a patio peach. That's gonna be next. So we're gonna have apple, blueberries, and peaches all growing inside this deer fencing, which is like seven feet tall. Good. Now up. Okay. Forward. Okay. Up. Curl. Stop. More. Okay. Go up more. That's it. That's all we have for height on this thing. Okay. Come forward. Good. Good, girl, a little more. Good. That's fine. Oh, it's blowing in your face. Um, hey, you can move these plants if you have to. They're all in pots. If I had a cameraman, I'd be in there helping. Tyler, nice work. No, you can't. Never mind. No, he can't. He's sitting on the 4x4 over there. Hey, you can't move at all. You're sitting on the 4x4 over there. See it? Yeah. Right there. He's hitting it. You're almost good. You almost got it all. Okay, good. Okay, curl it up. Okay, good. Back it up. Okay, curl it. Curl, curl. There you go. Now lower. And hey, you're still backing up. Thank you. That's how you mess up. Okay, lower it. Okay, turn that down. So when you were just now lowering your bucket and curling, you just kept creeping backwards real slow. That's how you'll forget that the truck is behind you. Because you're focusing here on the bucket, right? And you're lowering it and you're doing your thing and you don't want to hurt anybody, but you totally forget that you just rolled right into the truck. So always stop rolling. Once you clear your obstacle. Well, I, I was only uh, going backwards right off the that's fine, but you already cleared it. So you clear, I told you, you're good, you can lower now. Stop moving. Well, you don't want to forget and roll right into the truck. The truck won't win. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Yeah, say thank you, Grams. Thank you, Grams. Thank you, Grams. There you go, see? Now we gotta get them something like caffeinated, not caffeinated, like maybe some small little Sprite cans. I don't know. Yes. Well, yeah, that's what you want, little yeah. tiny Sprites? Sprite, give me a call. No, no, Actually, I think that's made by Coke. Hey, don't get too fancy. You're gonna run the rototiller through that again. Yeah, you're gonna mix it all up. That dirt with the dirt underneath it. Yeah, he's making it look pretty. Too soon, don't make it look pretty. Throw the rototiller back in. It's gonna be super clean because there's no rocks. We'll go real fast and then we can plant some peppers. Actually, we gotta attach this board to the wall. 
We gotta do that. And then, uh, oh, thanks for shutting the tractor down. That's cool. Nice job, Tyler. Good job. Olivia, amazing work. Look at you go in our new little pepper patch. I'm not doing amazing. Work. You're amazing too. Thank you very much. So is he. He's pretty good. On the other hand, just hold the camera. That's what I do. Good job. We've got some California Reapers out here now. Some jalapenos, some habaneros. No, actually, we don't. My fault. I lied. We have, there's a sriracha shortage going on. You can't find any of this stuff anywhere. So I'm growing my own sriracha peppers now. Just kidding. I'm not kidding about the shortage. It's true. I'm growing my own sriracha peppers as well, but I'm not going to make sriracha sauce. That stuff's very difficult to make. They know what they're doing. So we're finishing up that garden bed. We'll show mom it later. She can decide to plant in it this year or just keep, keep these things in pots for now and then uh, maybe add more soil later or plant in it next year or whatever. I don't know what we're doing. But Olivia's watering, that's what she's doing right now. Okay, that works. So what Tyler's gonna do is he's gonna go get the little lawnmower we just bought mom to be able to maintain all this in here. It's an electric push. Everything's going electric these days. Supposedly, the city of Burlington, Vermont is about to outlaw all gas like yard tools by like who knows 2030 or something so when you're like trimming your hedges on the front of your house or you're mowing your little lawn because you live on like an eighth of an acre right they don't want all that gas stuff running rah, all that noise supposedly it's got to be all electric i don't know if that's true don't quote me google it whatever um but he's gonna go get the little lawnmower and mow all this out of here because it's so thick and then we're gonna take advantage of the borrowing of this and we're gonna rototill this whole ledge. And I might, even though it's late, I might grab some more veggies to plant so we can just get some more stuff. We got super busy and garden lazy. We just were way behind. Now Jace is bringing out the red ramps. So he's gonna back the tractor up. We're gonna put the ramps under the front tires and see if we can get the tractor up the ramps to give us a couple extra inches to be able to dump that. Question is, will those ramps hold the weight of the tractor? We don't know. Let's test do it. it Let's do it. Fence. Yeah, test it before we get over the fence. Good call. Taking my rake. Okay, go ahead. Back it up. Yep, curl. Back it up. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, don't do that. Jeez. You went too fast. Curl, curl. You're going to dump it all out. There, down. Down, oh my gosh, these, these kids. Yeah, you pushed it too hard. Back up. Oh my God. That's why you never walk under a bucket. All right, stop. Now, we're only lifting the front of the tractor and the weight on this tractor is actually all in the back. All right, go. It works. Okay, back it up. But the problem is we gotta know where to put them over here. I don't know where to put the ramps over here. Okay, so, hang on. All right. I literally just told you guys, don't go under a bucket, and I kinda went under the bucket. We're gonna try there. Don't you touch that lever. All right, go for it. I don't know if I have them right, but you let me know if I gotta move one of them. Just line up that tire and I'll fix this tire. Did you hear me? Focus on one of them. I'll change, I'll fix the other one. Cause you gotta straighten out still. You're not straight to the, 
garden. That's straight, so lift your bucket. driving onto the ramps. You lined up on that side? You're still good? You know, I could have done that. But okay. You got it. Good job. There goes Tyler mowing. What? Yeah, go... You're good. All right, go nice and slow again, just in case they decide to not work. Yeah, that's fine. All right, you're on. You're starting to go up. Keep an eye on your bucket. It's all looking good. Looking good, and you're almost about to stop over here. And keep going. Keep going, you got like six inches. Keep going, and right. now a little more. We gotta go a little farther. You, you are bottomed out on the backhoe. You're right, hang on. There, I gave you about an inch. I gave you about an extra inch, go ahead. All right, that should be good. Let's see if that dirt, now, do not lower my bucket and crush my deer fence. Hang on, hang on. There, now you're gonna dump it, okay? I'll be right, I'm gonna go in there. They make me nervous. Okay, okay. You might come up a little. Good, now curl it. No. Yep, and curl. Don't, don't shake it so much. Hang on, let me poke at it. I thought he was shooting at us. Oh, this is packed in here too strong. You didn't shake it before you pick it up. No, oh, no, no, no. Did you, did you pick up your dirt, dump it, pick it up, dump it? No, 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 no. That's all you did was shake the top off. Every time you go to it, this is bad. Nice job, Tyler. Okay, every time you go to a dirt pile, you want to pick up the dirt, dump it all out. Pick up the dirt, dump it. No, leave it on. Pick it up, dump it out, because that loosens it up so this doesn't happen. So you don't get a one. solid bucket of dirt. Nice job, though. This is why you have teenagers around. I might actually have to up no, your pay. most teenagers don't uh, like to do that. This is so. a good call. I, I agree. <laughs> I do agree with that. Other teenagers, uh, I'm not saying don't, anything. Yeah, don't even go people, there. People in my school. Yeah, in your school. Sit all day. Do your kids in your school watch our YouTube channel? Because now you just roasted them. Yeah. Came <laughs> out. Oh, we even named them. I'll see if I can bleep that for you, buddy. Yeah, leave them alone. Let's not call them out by name. That's that's rude. Well, she says he works on a farm, um, but actually hasn't worked on a farm in two years. Okay. So. All right, you're good. Curl it. Back it up slowly. How are we doing here? Did you just squish a pepper? No, I. All right. So you pepper. mowed this? Yeah, I mowed it. You mowed it. Yeah, that doesn't look better. And now, hang on, you got to get this one here. Look at how tall some of this well, is. I didn't want to get. Uh, you're right. You were shooting at us. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Keep backing up before you lower that bucket. 
All right, so now when you go get your next load of dirt, scoop it up, drop it out. Scoop it up and watch how smooth it comes out into this. It won't get stuck in there like a big turd. Yes, I said that, stuck like a big turd. Bingo, do that again. Okay, come all the way back the other way. That's it, you're done. See how easy that came out? So what he did was he turned the dirt over a couple times way down there at the pile before bringing it up here. So he brought up nice loose fluffy dirt instead of a big packed turd of dirt. Yes, you're good. Ah, you're not good to come down. Okay, whoo, he's scared. Pack it up and then bring the bucket down. Okay. This guy's still rototilling over there. Oh my God, what are you doing? Oh, good thing I came to check on you. What, you said I can do two. Oh, that's too, no. What I needed you to do, hold this. Hold this. You already did this row here, right? Yeah. All you need to do is go right here next to it. Right here. You didn't need to go that wide, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay you can take this back. There, don't do that. Okay, leave that side alone now. He was making two like perfect paths. You just need to fix. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hopefully he understands now. Oh my goodness. Can't leave these kids unsupervised. All right, next to fix that, get that all level, and then mom can decide what she wants to do with that raised bed. I do gotta stop the dirt from falling out, but we figured just get it all in there, and then I'll go get a board to run across the back here down here stop the dirt from sliding out that's it we're gonna end this video here because i didn't even plan to make it i will see you guys again tomorrow